thank you for joining us for this week's Century Series. I'm Patricia Jennings, and today we'll be taking a deeper look into the Montgomery bus boycott and the mother of modern-day civil rights, Rosa Parks. Though refusing to give up her seat seems like a simple protest, her actions are what led to a powerful movement changing American lives forever. For many years, blacks faced ruthless discrimination. The Jim Crow laws created a separate but equal society wherein blacks and whites were segregated in nearly all public places. Man. History, man. You know, man, we man, we rewriting history right now, man. But we we've been experiencing some oppression, man. Like, listen to this, man. Back when I was uh 22, man, I was uh going down to the store and I got a little thirsty, man. Ah, <coughs> so coughing, man. Ah, eat those chicken bones, man. I ain't just eating the chicken, man, but, you know, the bones, too, because that'd be good. That got the nutrition. Any, you know, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I go up to drinking fountain, man, and this whitey, man, he just be saying, hey, man, go to the, the black fountain, all sophisticated, man, like that, and like that. So, I had to go over to the black fountain, man, and see oppression, man. I felt bad, my, my heart tore, and it's not good, man, you know, man, it's, uh, Whitey's, man. They attended separate schools, ate at separate restaurants, and used separate bathrooms and drinking fountains. They were even forced to sit separately in the back of public transportation. Get to the back of the bus. Hey you, get to the back. Get to the back of the bus. <laughs> get to the back of the bus. Among the whites, racism grew stronger, and in groups such as the Ku Klux Klan, Brutality became worse than it had ever been. Despite the struggle, blacks pushed for equal rights but repeatedly fell short of their common goals. Until December 1st, 1955, the day Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat for a white man, sparking the successful Montgomery bus boycott. Do you like my new dog? No! No, Gapta! There's no more white seats! Hey, man, what you expect me to do about that? Y'all better lighten up on yourselves and get in the back of the bus. I ain't sitting next to no colored. <sighs> man, I'm just staying man, here. Man, why don't you stand up? Hey, I just stay here, man. I ain't moving. <sighs> I'm gonna call the police. Man, we got a code black up on this bus, 392. Uh, black female resisting to get up out of her seat. Code black, I repeat, code black, over and out. <coughs> Please, open the door. Oh. Thank you, sir. No problem. Man, you're under arrest. Man, yo, whitey's always be pushing us around, man. Ain't I get to speak? Get her off here! Get I don't know, but the law's a law and you're under arrest, man. Man, get the bull, man. Dang. After the arrest, many blacks felt inspired by Rosa's efforts to take action. Martin Luther King's nonviolent approach was accepted by the people, and he quickly became the main leader of the protest. Handbills were distributed amongst the blacks in order to unite Montgomery in the boycott, successfully lasting a full year. However, it wasn't always easy for the blacks. See, people don't realize the struggles that these African American men and women went through. They had to walk to these jobs. And these jobs weren't nearby. No, they weren't. They were far, you know, they took the buses to get to the jobs. And without the buses, they had to walk. Stay. Um, and the churches stepped in and they said, we're going to help these people provide for their families. So we're going to donate shoes and stuff so that they could, you know, earn what they were fighting for. This equality that they didn't have. Along with obvious setbacks of walking everywhere, they also suffered from white retaliation. Martin Luther King's house was firebombed along with four Baptist churches, and boycotters were often physically attacked. Despite the hardships, the boycott became one of the largest and most successful movements against racial segregation. On December 20, 1956, the Supreme Court ruled the Alabama state and local laws of segregated busing unconstitutional. With this success, Many more national protests were sparked, and for the first time, civil rights reform began reshaping the American perception of equality. Thank you for listening, and join us next time on The Century Series.
It's tearing up my heart when I'm with you But when we are apart, I feel it too 